in changeable conditions. It was Duncan Tappy who led away at the start of race two. Getting the jump on Dominic Farbacker as they headed towards turn one. Also well away was Michael Meadows. Somehow they made it cleanly through the early stages. Despite it being a little bit slippery and very tight. It's a race characterised by some fantastic dicing throughout the field as the likes of Mikel back in the spirit of race Ferrari tried to carve up through the field. And then Figueredo presents a pretty stiff opposition. So eventually Matt was able to sneak past at turn one. Post pit stops, Jordan Witt shut the door a little bit too late for Mara Calamir. That made life a lot easier for Albert Costa. And Rob Bell starts to try and move their way up through the field. So I've done that, had a quick spin. Also charging the front away, they're en route to a top 10 finish. Front of the field, though, was the far back of racing Lexus that was well clear with Venturini and Benham doing battle for second position. Behind Marco Ciocci. Side through up to an eventual sixth place finish. And Rob Bell in the Balfour Sport McLaren. A great drive past Miguel Ramos late on to claim fourth. This was the move that decided second place, however. Venturini to the inside of Mike Benham. But out front, Dominic Camaro, far backer, dominating the race, particularly the second half of it. And eventually, the far backer racing Lexus winning by over 23 seconds. From Venturini and Biaggi second in the Imperial Racing Lamborghini with Mike Benham and Duncan Tappy third for Garage 59 claiming the Pro Am class win. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.